All right, we'll stick with our international base stories here in the Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit, APEC Summit, kicking off this past weekend in San Francisco. Now, President Joe Biden and China President Xi Jinping are set to meet this week to strengthen, hopefully, communication between the two countries and also manage some of the rising tension that we have seen play out. Now, the summit will run through the end of this week. For more on what we can expect, Yahoo Finance reporter Ines Frey joining us now. And Ines, a lot of focus on what exactly this meeting will cover, what it's going to entail. What do we know? Yeah, that's right. And the big uh, meeting that is, of course, that face-to-face -face meeting that will happen between President Joe, D Joe Biden and also President Xi Jinping of China. And it's um, significant because this will be the first face-to-face -face meeting between the, between the two leaders in one year, the last time it was in Bali in November of last year. And it's also the first visit of, visit of the Chinese president here to the U.S. since 2017. Now, this conference is a large conference. There are 21 members. Uh, member countries that are part of it, including the U.S., Canada, China. But of course, that China-U.S., ta those topics that will be discussed between President Biden and Xi Jinping, those will be of much importance. As you mentioned, strengthening communication, managing competition. Look, there's a lot going on right now between the two countries. You've got the CHIPS Act that was passed last year. You also have tariffs that have been put in place during the Trump administration that are still in place. You've got the Middle East tension the ongoing war in Ukraine. And from an economic point of view, most experts would say that it's not in either, si either of the side's best interest for the deterioration of relations, the escalation of tensions between the two countries, as we've been seeing. And you have seen that the Biden administration already this year sent to Beijing uh, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. Uh, also, she himself uh, has also m met with uh, Bill Gates. Mm. He's met with Governor uh, Gavin Newsom of California. So certainly both sides. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a trepid uh, meeting because you, you, we have had escalating tensions between the two countries. So, so what is the most important issue to each side here? So for the U.S., one of the big issues will be uh, to reestablish military communication with China because China suspended military communication last year in protest to then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. And this includes ship and aircraft operations communications. For China, it will be everything surrounding technology. Remember the CHIPS Act and restrictions that are against uh, advanced semiconductors uh, to China. And then you've got the regional conflict and both sides are really at different ends of the spectrum here with those regional conflicts. The Eurasia Group put it pretty put it in a bottom line, basically saying expect modest outcomes and quick test of a relationship in secular decline. So. Wow. All right, we're going to be watching this very closely. Thanks for teeing this up for us. Yahoo Finance reporter Inez Foray.